Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video you will learn how to create authentication using Vue.js. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial you will be able to create the forgot password component. This video is part of our Vue.js authorization tutorial. Let's start with it. Now we'll create the forgot and reset password functionality. The first thing we need to do is to add a link here that says forgot password. Let's do it now. In the login component, after the button, we will paste this HTML. Forgot password. This is just a router link that points to forget component. This is how it looks like. Now let's create the forgot component. In the components folder, create a new file called forgot.view. Let's add template and scripts. Inside the template, now paste this HTML. This is a simple form with a forgot password title and just an email as an email input and a button for submit. And let's export it. Export default name, which will be forgot. Now let's add it to our router.js. Add a new path slash forgot component forgot. And let's import it here. Let's open the page and click forgot password now. We can see that we are getting redirected to the right page. Now let's add some functionality. Go to the forgot component and here add submit.prevent, handle submit. Here add methods, handle submit. We need also an email, so here we will add data, return email, which is initialized as empty. Here add a vmodel for the email. Now let's make this handle submit async because we'll use now Axios to send a request to the server. const response equal await axios dot post forgot and the post parameters will be just the email. So email this dot email. For now just console log the response. I will open the mail catcher interface here to check if we get an email when we submit the form. Let's try it now. Type the email we used to log in and submit it. And we can see that we successfully got an email. With a message change your password here. The URL is localhost port 3000 slash reset with a token. Let's create that component now. In the components folder, create reset.view. And add template and script. In the template now, paste this HTML, which is a simple form with a reset password title and the password and password confirm input and the button to submit the form. Now let's export this component. Name reset. Go to our routes and also edit here. Path reset and this time we'll have a token. So we need the token in our URL. 
to create this component reset. And here reset. Go to reset.view component and let's do the same. Add submit.prevent, handle submit. We need password and password confirm. And also add handle submit here. Add V model for password and V model for password confirm. Here make the method asynchronous and also import Axios. Now let's call Axios const response equals await Axios dot post reset and data will be password this dot password. Password confirm this dot password confirm. And we need an extra parameter, which is the token. And we can get the token from our URL. To get it from the URL, use this .route.params.token. This will get the token from our URL. In the end, when the response is OK, just console log the response and we will redirect to the login page. Let's try it out. So this URL that we opened recently now works fine. And now let's console log first and write a new password. I will write a new password here, submit, and I am redirected to the login component. Now I am getting response here, which is successful. This is from this console log here. Now, if I try to log in with the email and the new password, everything will work fine and I will successfully get logged in.